Welcome back to my channel, The Baking Diva. Do you like my apron? Most of you that uh, follow my channel know that every once in a while I try to get in character for my videos and I just love this apron. It's sort of a retro look. I got it on Etsy. A woman was making them and it has the ice pops on them. Uh, I think not sure if they're called firecrackers or not. Pocket in the apron and a little ruffle around it. It's so cute. I've been anxiously waiting for today's video because Memorial Day is right around the corner and I'm doing a dessert collab. Yes, I am. I'm doing a dessert collab with Celine. And Celine is from the channel, The Recipe Therapist. Hmm. Now, Celine is from New York, and I'm from New Jersey, and we became friends on YouTube. Celine makes all kind of goodies. She's um, created many different recipes over the years, and she loves sharing most of her favorites. She's created everything from Italian staples to decadent desserts. She even throws on her channel some keto uh, recipes and some gluten-free ones for those who could use a little help. That's right, everybody needs a little help in those areas with uh, dietary restrictions. Celine, you ask, how did she choose the name? The recipe therapist. Well, because she loves to help and inspire people in the kitchen. Um, Celine's channel is wonderful. She has really a variety of great recipes on there. So I hope when this video is over, I'll put the link to her channel in my description box and you will head on over to see what she's making. We decided that for our Memorial Day collab, we would do two different trifles. Well, I do sort of know what she's making, but I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to go over her channel and find out. But I will tell you, I am making a patriotic cheesecake trifle. So, I'm going to put a picture of Celine. I'm going to show you a shot of her channel. And then we are going to get going and I'm going to make my patriotic trifle for you. So are you ready, cameraman? Surely. Okay, let's get started. To make our trifle, first thing you're going to need is a glass, clear glass dish to make your trifle in. Now, this is what a lot of people would call a trifle. Uh, dish or bowl. It has a stem on it. Some are this size, some are a little higher and a little bigger, but this is technically your trifle bowl. If you don't have a trifle bowl, you can use a clear glass bowl. Um, as long as it has high sides, because with a trifle you're going to layer your ingredients, so you need height. So um, don't go out and buy a trifle dish if you don't have one. Um, as long as it's clear glass, use whatever you have at home. All right, so we are first of all, I'm gonna move this out of the way, but we are first of all in my mixer, and if you don't have a stand mixer, you can use a hand mixer. I'm going to put in my mixer, mix, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna put in my mixer two eight ounce packages of cream cheese that are at room temperature. So let me get those in there. Okay. I'm going to show you this video in steps. I broke it down into steps because there's a couple of things you're going to see in this video that are optional. And I've decided to use them, but you don't have to. It's up to you, and um, I'll let you know what they are when we get to that point. So this is step one of the trifle. Get all that cream cheese in there. Alrighty. 
And to that cream cheese, we are going to add two cups of confectioner's sugar. So let me get that in there. Okay. Move that over. And we're going to cream the confectioner's sugar and the cream cheese together. So let me get started on that. Go slowly or you're going to have poof, a uh, sugar flap all over you and your kitchen. So we're creaming that together. Now to this you are going to add an 8 ounce container of sour cream. So let me get that in there. Mmm. Okay. I want to make sure I get it all out. Don't want to waste anything. Okay. And I'm going to mix that. Now to that, I am going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And a quarter of a teaspoon of my favorite almond extract. And if you haven't already watched, my video on my almond butter cake. You ought to go and give it a, a watch because it is a delicious. Okay, here's a quarter of a teaspoon. Alrighty. The almond is great in these recipes. Um, these trifle recipes gives it a nice flavor. So let me mix those together. This is not light Cool Whip. This is um, regular Cool Whip. No, no. Bad diva. Don't do that. Just kidding. Just kidding. Can't be serious all the time. Right, cameraman? That's for sure. <laughs> Gotta have a little fun while you're baking. Now let me get this in. I'm gonna just give this a little whirl to get it all combined. You don't want to overbeat it. Okay. So once I get this mixed and incorporated, then we'll go on to step two. Okay, my cream cheese mixture is all combined. Now, what I'm going to do next, um, this is step two, you can either bake or you can buy in the store an angel food cake. And you take your angel food cake and with your hand, you uh, break it into bite-sized pieces, which I have done here. And I'm going to try to insert in this video my different steps, step one, step two, step three, etc. So it'll be easier for you to follow along because it's really not a hard recipe. You just have to be organized and follow your steps. So I'm going to put these bite-sized pieces of angel food cake into my cream cheese mixture and I'm going to stir them with a spoon. You know, you're not going to put this back into um, the mixture. So let me start doing that. I'm going to have your angel food bite-sized pieces all mixed in with your cream cheese mixture. Did you see that one coming? Yeah, let me put some more of them in. Get, mm, this is great, this recipe. If you're having people over, if you're having a Memorial Day party or picnic, because it's really good and it goes a long way too. Oh, this is good. It's a nice, thick, heavy mixture when you put the um, angel food cake pieces in there. Okay, okay. so that's all mixed up and now we're going to go on to step three. 
All right, for step three, what you're gonna need is four cups of cleaned sliced strawberries. And I've already done that here. I uh, sliced them and I have about four cups here. Now to this four cups of strawberries, I wanna add one quarter of a cup of granulated sugar and one tablespoon of almond extract. So let me get that in there. And then I'm just going to mix that all together. So that's step three. All right, this is step four. Step four is you're going to need four cups of blueberries, which you've washed. And to the blueberries, we're gonna do the same thing we did with the strawberries. We're gonna add one quarter of a cup of sugar. And we're gonna add a taste tablespoon of our almond extract. And then we're going to mix that all together. All righty, now we go on to step five. And that's to take the clear glass bowl you're using, either the trifle one or the round one. Um, as long as it's clear glass, just use what you have. So the first thing we're gonna do, because trifles are all about layering, we're gonna start with our cream cheese mixture. Now, it's not always easy to do, but I would say try your best to be a little neat when you put it in, because you're gonna see it from the outside. It's not gonna be perfect, but you know, you'll get to see the layers a little bit. So I'm gonna start with my cream cheese mixture. This is gonna be my first layer. Just spread it around in there. Mm, looking good. Trying to stick with that red, white, and blue theme. Right, cameraman? Correct. Cameraman, are we doing anything on Memorial Day? We are. We don't have any plans yet, do not. we? Not. Well, maybe we will. We just don't know yet. Well, I'm going to probably <laughs> blow off some firecrackers or something like Cameraman, that. Cameraman, can you please try and find something for us to do on Memorial Day? I don't want to stay home. Cameraman thinks I'm crazy, but... I don't know. All these years we were mar have been married, you should be used to me by now. Just go with the flow, cameraman. <laughs> I'm flowing, all right. <laughs> so what we're gonna do next is we are going to put a layer of our blueberries. All right, next, we take our blueberry mixture and we put a layer of the blueberries on top. Once you get everything prepared ahead, it's very easy to do. And I, I think you could probably prepare um, some of this mixture ahead, even the night before, so you have it all ready. Okay. All right. okay. Now next, we are going to add another layer of our cream cheese mixture. So let me make sure I have enough of this blueberries in here. Yeah. All right, now I go back to my cream cheese mixture and add another layer of that on top of the blueberries. And I just want to remind you again, don't forget when my video's over, go over to Celine's channel and see what kind of a trifle she made. I think you're going to like it. And I think you're really going to enjoy her channel. She has a wonderful channel. Okay, there we go. All right. Now, next, I'm going to add a layer of my sliced strawberries. Let me get that around the edge. Okay, put it over here. Now comes the strawberries, the layer of the strawberries. So let me get that in there. Hmm. You have to give it that little red, white, and blue look. And of course, continue to watch this video to the end because I have a big surprise I'm gonna do with this trifle and I think you're gonna love it. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, um, go down below and hit that red subscribe and the little bell next to it and you'll be a subscriber and you'll get a notification whenever I have a new video up. 
And I have a lot of good ones coming down the pike. And I love my new subscribers. Alrighty. Trying to get some of that red on the edges so we can see it. Wait to see what I'm going to do on the top. Do you know what I'm doing on the top, cameraman? No, I don't. Mm. Well, then you're going to be surprised, too. Are you going to be sprinkling it with uh, a half a cup of Jameson's? Oh, the Jameson's. All right. Okay, we got our, re our red, our white, and our blue. All right. So what we want to end the top with is we want to end the top with our layer of cream cheese mixture. So let me move this over. And here we're finishing off the top of that. Now you will notice your juice that's in there, some of it does seep down. Now if you're using a bigger bowl, you know, than I have, you're going to repeat your layers. You'll do another layer um, uh, or if you're using a smaller bowl, it doesn't matter. You'll do another layer of the blueberries on here. And then, um, you know, you just want to end with this on the top. All right. So normally you can just decorate the top of this trifle with some extra strawberries or blueberries. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something special because I want this to be a knockout. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you what the Divas last step is to make this trifle a stand out. Alrighty, so I told you I wanted to decorate the top of my trifle with something special. You don't have to, it's optional. You can just put some strawberries and blueberries on the top and it'll be perfect. But I want to do something different. So I have some whole strawberries here. I'm leaving the stems on them. And uh, what I did is I have a bag of white candy melts from Wilton that I melted in my microwave. And I have some Wilton's um, blue sanding sugar that I put in my little bowl here. So I've melted my white chocolate. As you can see, it's nice and smooth. You have to make sure that your strawberries are washed and perfectly dry. If they are wet, you will have a disaster because the candy melts or chocolate and water do not mix. So what I'm gonna do in sticking with my red, white, and blue theme is I'm going to take a strawberry. I'm going to dip it about maybe three quarters of the way into my white chocolate mixture. So it looks like this because you want your red strawberry to show. Can you see that camera now? Sure we can. Let your white chocolate drip off the strawberry. And then what you want to do is you just want to do maybe a quarter of the way with your blue sugar. So let me do that. And look at this. I'm going to sit it down on here to dry. I dip it down there in the white chocolate or the candy melts. Let it drip off nicely. Okay. So now I'm going to put a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Into my blue sugar. And I'm going to put it down to dry. And and as soon as I finish these, I'll come back after they're set and dry. I'll put them on the top of the trifle and I'll let you see what the finished product looks like. All right, so as you can see, I made my red, white, and blue strawberries. Aren't they pretty? And you know, if you don't want to make these to decorate the top of your trifle, um, you can just make these by like nice sized strawberries, wash them, dry them well, leave the stems on them, and 
dip them and you could put out a beautiful platter of these for uh, Memorial Day. They're nice for 4th of July too. So let me move these over and get my trifle. And uh, I'm going to decorate the top of the trifle with these. But let me just start. I'm going to just place a couple of them around there. I think they look so cute. They kind of finish it off. It looks adorable. Look at that. We'll get a close-up once I get a few around here. Okay. Kind of just makes it look pretty. All right. That looks so cute. Now I can't hold it up because I don't want to tip them. I'll try a little. Can you get that cameraman? Mostly. I'll try to turn it a little for you. So that is my patriotic cheesecake trifle. I think if you make that, it'll be a big hit. Um, if you have any berries left over or a little cream, um, you can... Um, Make some small ones. You can use a little glass like this, and I'll put a couple of stills in because I have some leftover berries. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this collab with Celine and myself. Um, don't forget, go on over to her channel and see what trifles she made. Her link is down below in my description box. If you haven't already subscribed, I love my subscribers and I really do appreciate each and every one of you. So, I'm going to leave you with saying Happy Memorial Day. Thank you to all that have served our country and um, back my, the cameraman's dad served our country and uh, it was in World War II and my dad was in the army. So, and love all of our veterans, and I will see you all very soon. Toodles!